trust on the internet actually breaks into a few different pieces because one of them has to do with trust of, in the infrastructure. Another one has to do with trust with, uh, that applications are going to do with your, with your data, your personal data, with the things that you do. And a, a third one has to do with, with the trust that you have in the network, that is that it's not going to defraud you. So the first thing we have to do when we talk about trust is to figure out which one of these we're talking about. Uh, the Internet Society is actually working on all of these topics, but it turns out that you know, they're, they're really very different. So what we need to do, um, you know, we need first of all to build the trust in the network to make sure that the network itself isn't subverted, that the network itself doesn't create problems. Uh, in a different path, we need to make sure that personal data is handled appropriately and so on. And that actually is not only an internet problem. Right? Some of that is, is data on the internet, some of that is actually data at rest, data that's off the internet and so on. And that really has to do with social policy, how do we handle this, this kind of data. And then finally there's this thing about what services are, are working on the internet and how they come towards us. This is a third meaning of the trust on the internet. We actually need to deal with that um, partially by having the, the services themselves be responsible for this, partly by having people understand how the, um, the world is working. You know, you don't just wander into any shop that you go in any neighborhood in the world. You kind of look around at things and try to figure it out. We don't have that kind of contextual uh, information when we're working on the internet. We can't tell. And one of the things we've got to do is actually build those, what, what are called affordances in, um, uh, in, in user interfaces. We need to figure out how to give people those affordances in order to be able to tell, gee, is this trustworthy or not? also to be able to tell whether somebody's lying to them about whether they're being trustworthy. So these are all really complicated things. There are some of those that are technical, some of them that are purely social, and some of them that actually could involve regulation and so on.